Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going over NVIDIA. They gimp their graphics cards. Ha! <laughs> well, just kidding. Kinda. Real quick, just so you know, this video I have already made. And for the most part, it's just the old one, but remastered with better quality, video and audio. Anyways, NVIDIA doesn't really gimp their graphics cards, and if you hear someone say that, they are sadly uninformed. The truth is that NVIDIA cares about their GPUs, but they just age very poorly. Let's base this on a few GPUs from a couple of years ago. The 780 Ti, absolutely ridiculous card. It was $700 when it launched back in October of 2013, which is now more than most AIB 1080s at the time of recording this. Then we have the R9-290X with its launch price of $550, which is now just below the 1080s price if you're lucky enough to get it before it runs out of stock. At the 780 Ti's launch, it was faster than the 290X, but not by much. We see here that in Guru 3D's testing, the 780 Ti came ahead in most games by about 8 FPS while costing about $150 more around launch time. The 780 Ti was beating out the original Titan in some games, so this thing was a monster, again, around launch. Then the GTX 970 came out. Near identical performance for about $330. The 780 Ti still performed well, however, the bar was raised with the 900 series GPUs. Now, years later, the 780 Ti and 290X can be found both for around $200 USD, and the sad thing now is that the 290X is beating the 780 Ti in just about every game. The Witcher 3, Hitman, Doom, Far Cry Primal, GTA 5, The Division, all saw the 290X beat the 780 Ti by more than 5 FPS at least at 1080p. In Hitman DX12 and Doom OpenGL, the 290X comes ahead by 30 and 25 FPS respectively, which is frankly in freaking sane. Then in other games, it's around a 9 FPS increase. The 780 Ti did manage to come ahead though in only Anno 2205 and again in Fallout 4 by around 8 FPS. But keep in mind that in these games, the Fury and GTX 970 are just about on par with each other, showing the NVIDIA bias here. But the 970 and 780 Ti have the same performance at least, right? Well, yeah, at the 970's launch. Now the 970 beats the 780 Ti in most games by around 5 FPS and in some manages to pull ahead by 10 or more like in Fallout 4 and Doom OpenGL. The 780 Ti has aged pretty badly and this thing was released not even 3 years ago if we're being exact. It was released 2 years and 10 months ago. Now it's losing to the 290X in almost all current games and it's even losing to the 970. Heck, the 290X even matches the RX 480 in a lot of games tested here by Guru 3D. Maybe take this into consideration before you pick up a GTX 1060 because maybe, just maybe in a few years, it'll start to fall off while the RX 480 maintains its performance. Just speculation though. And while we can start talking about the 900 series performing worse than their Pascal counterparts in DX12 games, that is partially to do with the 900 series lacking asynchronous compute support, among other DX12 features. As far as we know, NVIDIA may already be lacking serious optimizations for the 900 series, but that, again, is just speculation. Alright everyone, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like this video to show your support, or give this a like and drop a comment if you want to see some of my older videos also remastered like this one. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.